Which foods get you in the moods? Well, let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Since the dawn of time, humans have been on the lookout for any type of love potion that might get the motor running, if you know what I mean. Get what we're talking running. about is aphrodisiacs, which if you didn't already know, literally means food or drink that stimulates desire or excitement. No actual afro anywhere in that definition. Yep. I'm a little disappointed. Well, lots of DGX. But we press on. The jury is still out scientifically as to whether or not aphrodisiacs actually work, if they're effective. Right. And when the jury is out scientifically on things, that's when we, here at Good Mythical Morning, mm -hmm. step in to do that's a little right. boop, 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 Save the scientific boop, 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 research and some jam 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 experimentation. Uh -oh. <laughs> It's time to determine which love potion puts the emotion in our ocean. Now, when a human is feeling the love, a few things should happen. First of all, their heart rate should go up, mm -hmm. their blood pressure should go up, mm -hmm. and they should also feel a little emotional stirring uh -huh. right oh, here in this region. Yeah. Well, really anywhere, but. Now, we have designed an experiment um, to test the variable of aphrodisiac. Yes. We're gonna sample each aphrodisiac, and then we're gonna measure the data points of heart rate, blood pressure, and our desire level. Yeah, so Which the heart rate and the blood pressure, we're right. not just wearing fancy watches. <laughs> oh, look, at, we got some fancy what watches. What time is it? Actually, I will say that these say lot fancy on them. They are a lot fancy <laughs> and we're wearing them, but this is gonna measure the, we're gonna measure the blood pressure and heart rate with this device. <laughs> and then we're going to measure our attraction level and we've, we each have a picture of the object of our desire that we're gonna put right here for our own benefit. Uh, mine is cereal. Now, <laughs> it's my wife. Yeah, and I have a picture of my wife, and we're gonna be measuring our attraction level after each one of these aphrodisiacs. So we're gonna say that five is middle of the road, just a normal, healthy level of attraction that we have towards our wives at all times. Yes. Uh, but that could go up to a 10, and that could go down to a one. Oh, it could. Uh, based on the different aphrodisiacs that we're gonna be trying. All right, let's get started. Since the time of the ancient Greeks and Greeks. Oh, the Greeks, I've the heard Greeks. of them. The Greeks and Romans, people have been eating these when they need a little pick-me-up, talking about pine nuts. Here they are. Mm. I love me a pine nut. The theory says that since they are very high in zinc, that boosts the immune system and makes you feel energized. Also, it contains B vitamins and vitamin E, which help your body produce testosterone, which can uh, get your motor running. So, I'm not gonna go easy on the pine nuts. Right. Okay, I'm gonna get one more handful. Mm. So good. You can't tell me I didn't try enough pine nuts. Now, we're gonna take some time while these enter our system. We're gonna look at the pictures of our wives and see if there's any effect. Let it sink in. Okay, I feel like um, the pine nuts have sunk in. I, I feel like zinc and vitamin B and E is, is coursing through my uh, enticed veins. But let's, let's do an official test here. Bring in the doctor, the doctor of love. Um, Hello, doctor. Hello, patients. Um, <laughs> you're gonna turn this on and it's gonna test our, our vitals here? Yes, sir. And now we took a baseline measurement of our vitals before this to know what we just a standing heart rate and blood pressure was. It's tightening up. Now keep looking at your wife. We gotta come up with, one, on a scale of one to 10, how attracted It's increasing, we are. it's increasing. I'm not kidding. She got hotter. All right, Link, you are uh, 114. And 90 is your pulse. Oh. Rhett, you are 137. Well, mine went way <laughs> up, dude. And a pulse of 88. My heart rate went way up. You did, but your blood yeah. pressure stayed low. You're in good health. I'm feeling but good But that's about just the, the first up. one. And, uh, and what do you get on a scale of one to 10? What do you get? Oh yeah, your, I gotta your, do that. Uh, your level of attraction here. I mean, she's a 10. She's always a 10. So I don't wanna get this whole scale of one to 10. Baby, if you're watching, I know you don't watch every episode, but you're probably gonna watch this one. You're a 10 and you're always a 10. But on this scale right now, you were a five. It's very confusing. I know now you're a seven, <laughs> but you're always a 10. But now you're a seven compared to the five that you started as. It's hard, it's hard, uh, you, you know what I mean. Maybe we should have come up with like letter grades. What? I'm sorry, I was, I was lost to my wife's okay. eyes over here. So where, wife's where, eyes. Where, where are you at? I'm gonna give her a six. Oh. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to give me a six. We have a healthy relationship. I don't need to communicate right. with her through this show. Next one. The Emperor Matazuma used to eat fistfuls of this when he was looking for a little romance. I'm talking about chocolate. Okay, chocolate in bar form. Ooh, yeah. Well, why'd you massage the whole thing? You just like, we're like one of those kids that like claims the chocolate bar by touching the whole thing. Sorry, do you want do you want that side? Here, I'll take this side. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm not gonna eat that much. Now, mm. the science behind this one is actually kind of hazy, uh, but it has tryptophan, which is necessary for making serotonin, which could tr contribute to pleasure and happiness. It also contains something called phenylethylamine, which I probably didn't say correct. It's a chemical your brain releases when you're in love. The darker the chocolate, the more <laughs> enticing the, the attraction. Yeah, because yeah. this is some dark chocolate. It's good. It is bitter. You know, if you change phenylethylamine by one hydrogen atom, it becomes meth. Really? And that's in chocolate. Okay. So let's um, let's settle in on our on our the passion of our wives. Okay, what do you think? I'm gonna have to jump up to an eight. Really? I'm liking this picture. It's interesting. The chocolate was incredible. I love chocolate. It's, it tastes a lot better than pine nuts. But I feel that I'm just at the healthy level of attraction that I've always had towards my wife. A five. Dr. Chase, Dr. Love, let's give it another reading. Yes, sirs. Rhett, you are at a 136 with a pulse of 86. Hmm. And Link, you are at a 97. Oh my gosh. Your <laughs> blood relaxed. pressure went down to 97. And your pulse is 76. I'm worried that your blood pressure is too low that we're gonna have to like pump you up oh. somehow. I don't know, let's 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 uh, keep moving. Up next, these contain bromelain. You've heard of that. Bro, you're my lane. Who hasn't? It's an enzyme that boosts testosterone and they are the perfect aphrodisiac for monkeying around bananas. All right. I've got a banana for each one of us. Thank you. These have potassium and vitamin B, which uh, boost energy levels, um, which is the best guess as to why these can oh. get you ready to go. That was, that get you ready to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't like bananas, it's hard for me to eat them. The key is, make banana pudding in your mouth, <laughs> because everybody likes banana pudding. Okay, let that banana digest. <laughs> I feel a um, slight increase from just my base level excitement that I always have. If I mention that, I'm always excited about my wife. She's not watching, it's uh, fine. But she just might. Just be honest. She might. Yeah, you, she can't, you can't risk it. <laughs> so, all right, so I what? went to a six. Okay, I'm less excited. No, I feel like I'm, I, I'm more excited. I'm more or less excited right now. <laughs> no, I am more excited here in my arm where this is gonna measure me but I'm less excited in my heart. I don't know, it's no offense, baby, but I'm going down to a four. I just don't feel, I'm not. Really? Nothing can make me go below five. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, this is science. I'm committed to being honest. So so let's take a reading here. All right, Doctor of Love. Patience. Rhett, you are at 144. Golly. With a pulse of 84. My pulse went down, but my blood pressure went into the red. Bananas. What That's bananas. Doing? Oh, your blood I pressure went, went up. I went up, yeah. Uh, 113 with a pulse of 79. 79 went up slightly too. Yeah. So I felt more excited, but it's not translating into the feels for me. All right, these are probably the most famous aphrodisiacs on the list. Uh, and legendary lover Casanova was rumored to eat 50 of them for breakfast. Oysters. So oysters, uh, like pine nuts, also have zinc. Uh, so that can boost the immune system like we talked about, makes you feel energized. Uh, but these have also recently been discovered to have a rare amino acid which can boost the production of the baby making chemicals, testosterone. I have never eaten a oyster out of the shell. That's gonna slide down my throat, right? Yeah, and you know what, I'll prepare oh, it for you. I bet my blood pressure is going up just thinking about this. You want a little this. sauce on it to make it easier oh, yeah. for you? A little, a lot. Just do that right there. And then, oh gosh. And then you just slurp it right off of there. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, do it, man. You first, I just wanna see how you do it. You like it? Tastes like the ocean. Oh, it tastes like an ocean? <laughs> it tastes like the ocean. Cold. Well, you want, it's raw, Link. Oh, it's raw? Yes. <laughs> you didn't know it was raw. <laughs> it's cold, did y'all cook it and let it sit out? I really thought it was boiled. 
And then, yeah. then yeah, dude, frigidized. We might as well have just gone down and knocked on the door to Poseidon's house. And now we should be excited. Yeah, I have to eat another one? How oh. excited do you want to get? I want to get excited. I want to get excited now. Don't get me wrong. Now, nothing... I don't see why anyone would want to go to a restaurant and, and yuck this up in public. Because we're good. You're over-chewing it, too, first of all. I mean, you could just swallow it. Yeah, let's let that settle in. And gaze upon the sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetness, it's so horrible. You feeling something over there? Definitely, I'm not joking. I'm feeling lightheaded. I'm feeling like I'm swimming in an ocean of emotion. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna give it? I'm legitimately giving this a nine. This feeling I'm feeling right now is approaching the top of the scale. I definitely am feeling something and I am feeling more than I felt this entire time. I don't think it's a nine, but I do think it's an eight. Mm. I'm feeling an eight. Let's bring Chase, in the doctor level of love. Sir, is? Rent, you are at 124, the pulse of 89. Huh. Link 109 and a pulse of 83. Well, all this is going into our fancy <laughs> algorithm. All right, next up, these are guaranteed to get your blood pumping and palm sweating hot chilies. All right, here we have uh, two hot chilies. These are habanero. 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 Capsaicin is said to boost circulation to all parts of the body. It also stimulates the nerve endings and your brain releases endorphins. Oh, um, I love those. And my wife is really attracted to me when I hiccup. Mm. No, she's not. Okay. So let's see if that happens. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna touch this with my finger because I'm then gonna turn around and. No, are you gonna take a whole pepper or are you gonna just bite like halfway through the pepper? We should do the whole thing. You know I don't want to. <sighs> let's do it, man. I'm doing this for you, baby. Are you watching? Oh, we're gonna be hiccuping and drooling. It's gonna be so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, here, here we, we go. go. Three, two, one, eat. <laughs> <coughs> I just swallowed it. <coughs> and there come the hiccups. Oh, here they come. <sighs> now we have, <coughs> we have milk. <coughs> we have, should we drink the milk? We should wait, let it sink in. Let it sink in. <sighs> Now look at your beautiful wife, Link. <laughs> hey, baby. It's so good to see you again. I'm crying because you're so beautiful. Oh, I would have a difficult time focusing on anything other than the fact that my mouth is blue <laughs> right now. Yeah. Hey, baby, I have big plans for us tonight, but instead I'm just gonna be in the kitchen drinking <laughs> milk. That's sexy. Okay, Chase, get, take a reading, brother. Mm. Doctor. Okay. Now on a scale of one to 10, we should ha give our readings. Uh, one. What? You went to a one? I feel like I'm about to die. Like, I can't be attracted to anything. I honestly feel like my le attraction level has just remained constant. My mouth has gotten hotter, but she's just stayed just as hot as she already was. Five. I'll put mine at a three. <laughs> All right. Rhett, you are at a 131 with a pulse of 97. 97. And Link, you are at 145 with a pulse of 101. Oh my goodness! But you went down to one in your level of attraction? <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm attracted to anything. It means I don't feel like I'm you're, about to die. You're sub 145 and 101? Whoa, Link. That's not good, Those man. Those peppers affected you. I know, dude. I'm telling you. Okay. We're going to take a second to plug these numbers into our algorithm and see whose aphrodisiac works best for them individually. <laughs> So the results dictate that habanero is the aphrodisiac of choice for both of us. Yeah, so make sure you pick up some habanero peppers from your local grocery store before Valentine's Day. Thanks to Habaneros for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> yes. Thanks but to you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey guys, my name is Mudzi, and I'm from Tripoli, Lebanon, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. The Good Mythical Mug is the perfect container for your favorite love potion. Available at redlink.com slash store, not the love potion. The mug. Click through to Good Mythical More, or for mobile users, click the eye for convenience for us to make an ultimate love smoothie. That's right, we're gonna do it. Red as a telephone, Link tries to use him. What's that? What's that ringing sound? Oh, I, I had a premonition of the ringing. Oh. Hello? Hello? Beep. Beep, 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 beep. It's the beeper. Beep, beep, Stop beep, calling me beeper! Beep, beep.
Wow. Whoa! That Guys, I'm just blowing habanero out the water with this amazing concoction of enticedness. Aphrodite 99.